Hi guys, I'm currently at Walmart and this is the start of my Olivia Rodrigo Chicago journey. Okay, I don't know where to go. I'm going to see Olivia Rodrigo in Chicago and I am so excited. Um, I'm not going with any friends this time. I mean, I have friends going there like Marissa from my Billy vlog, um, but I'm not going with my friends. My parents are driving. I don't know. Yeah, I was like literally supposed to leave for the trip tonight so that I can get there on Friday and have a day to like rest because there's a show on the, fr on the Friday and I wanted to go. But I also want to queue and get a good spot of barricade because I'm going to the Saturday show. They just need to catch up. They just need to catch up. And you know what? That's fine. Um, whatever. I'm leaving tomorrow morning really early. Driving fucking eight hours. Like, oh my god, I'm going to go insane. I haven't packed anything. Literally anything. Like, I don't have anything packed. Let's see how this goes. I'm really so excited. So scared, but excited. Hi. Remember the clip I just showed you like two minutes ago of me in Walmart saying that I'm packing to drive to Chicago? Well, that's not happening anymore. I had to book a flight and it leaves in a couple hours. The most impulsive decision I've ever made in my life. I'm the best. Marissa's on FaceTime, by the way. Hi. Will I financially recover from this? No. Will I mentally recover from this? No. Will I physically recover from this? Probably not because I'm packing and it's 1237. Money is temporary. Memories are forever. You work hard to spend money. Anyways, so yeah, I booked a flight. Me and my mom are gonna go on to the airport tomorrow. But yeah, I'm really stressed, but I'm excited. Okay, I need to start packing. I need to get this done so I can go to sleep. I will see you guys in the morning though. Right? Bye! Okay, thank you so much. Okay, see you in the morning. I was wearing this. I was wearing this in the beginning of my Billy vlog where I was going to Chicago. But now, you know, life changes. Yeah, I'm wearing my Libby Louie. And I'm on my way to go see Libby Louie. I'm all packed. I have all my stuff. I'm so excited. There's so much shit in this tote bag. Ooh. Literally so much shit. And I'm gonna walk around with it. It's gonna be heavy. I will talk to you guys later. Hi, we're at the airport. Um, everyone pray that we don't miss this flight right now because we just got our COVID test done and they took a long time. And it's gonna take us like 15 to 30 minutes to get the result. And they said maybe even an hour or so. And it's like, what time is it? Like 10? And our flight leaves at 12.15. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will update you whatever happens. Everyone just pray right now. Everyone in the comment section, pray. Leave your prayers down below. Leave your predictions down below as well if you think I'm going to miss the flight. I tried. Thank you so much. We're going to the gate now. We're all secured in and boarding pass and... Yeah. I've never been to this part of the airport. It's like the back room. It's like, why is it thick? Flight time. Yay. Hey. Hey. We are in Chicago. I feel sick. That was the worst flight I've ever been on in my life. There's so yes. much turbulence. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. I was really like out of my seat jumping. Like I thought I was gonna die low key. I feel like I'm gonna die. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. We don't have to leave the apartment. I'm so excited to see Gracie too. Oh my God, I'm gonna throw up. I didn't even mention, yeah, Gracie's opening for this show. I'm seeing Olivia twice. I'm seeing her in Toronto as well, but Gracie's not opening for that show. Holly Humberstone is. I will call you guys. I mean, I will update you guys when we get our bags or we go to the hotel or whatever. I will see you in a bit. I'm jumping. I'm giddy. I'm giddy. I'm giddy. I'm jumping. We have made it to our hotel. I'm going to give you a tour. Are you ready? I haven't even like actually fully toured it myself. We literally just got in. So I'm going to tour you guys and you're going to get my reaction, okay? Over here, we have the door to go in. Yep. Suitcase. Mm-hmm. Light. Mm-hmm. Cute little like, yeah. Office, I guess. Uh, a sink and a microwave. We have a microwave. I literally never get a hotel with a microwave. Um, wow, ooh, tea, ooh. And then a TV, and it has Netflix and YouTube, and Pandora. I've never been in a hotel with Netflix. The sink for the bathroom's outside the bathroom. And then here's the bathroom. Ooh, this has a little thingy that's organized. Ooh, ooh, towels, ooh, ooh, nice. And there's also a pool. This is the view. It's like literally nothing but comfy bed. Let me do a comfy review. Very comfy, mm-hmm. We went to the venue. Oh yeah, I'm just doing that. 
um, we went to ta we went to the venue and there was like no one there for night two. So we were really confused because it's like just in an alleyway. So we were like, what the fuck? Like, what do we do? So yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thanks so much. I'm crying so hard. Hi guys. Hey. We're now sitting in this fucking alleyway. Wait, we forgot Eating. our drinks. I forgot my water. Yeah. No, my water's in my bag. I think. No, I don't know. Uh -oh. Java chip? No thanks. Uh, there's a line of people. We saw the beach HQ filming. Oh yes, and we were in it kind of. Um, we're gonna eat now. Bye. I got a burger from Sonic. This is my first time trying Sonic. Yeah. I got the same thing too. Yeah, and they live here. I don't think they tried Sonic. I'm crying uh -huh. so bad. I just came to my hotel because. I went to shower and like change and stuff. I'm gonna get my stuff for tomorrow, like to change into. Now I'm going back to the van. Now I'm going to Target first. So I need to get a zip up hoodie. I need to get a hand warmer. I need to get a pillow. And um, then I'm going to go to the venue. So I will see you guys at Target. Okay. I will see you guys in a bit. Hi. Hi. Thank you. We just got out of um, Target. Target. And now we're at the venue. You can hear her. Can't fight the season. Now we're waiting here. This part's a little confusing because I didn't vlog it properly. Like I wasn't really explaining what was going on. But at this moment, night one began. Olivia was on stage, so we were ready to start camping out, but they wouldn't let us line up. They told us we couldn't line up until night one ends. We didn't have like our camp, or, like tent or anything set up. We didn't have anything set up. We didn't have like a certain spot in line, but the people that were there already to line up, we already gave them, we had like our own numbering system set up. We wanted to go wait for Olivia at the gate where her tour bus was so we could try to meet her after night one. But it was like literally all of us in line that were there. So like no one can save our spots or anything so we need at least one person there so one person stayed and then people started showing up as night one was ending to start line up for night two and she was like i can't control this all these people on our own so you guys need to come back so we all came back and this like white mom was like li yelling at us like literally screaming at us and giving us so much attitude because she was like didn't want her daughters to camp out or something and she wanted a good spot for her daughters so she was camping out for her daughters really confusing but olivia came out said hi to everyone and like signed stuff through the gate and we missed her that night hey guys we haven't updated but we missed olivia yeah we did which is because guess what white karen was yelling at us yeah I'm crying so much. She, tried so to, she literally tried to take her spot. I know, she was trying to take her spot. Well, guess what? We just set up our tent. <laughs> We're literally first. What do you know? Yeah. First. This is my advice to you. If you're going to a concert, be in control. Okay, you can't even see whatever Marissa's doing, but we're right. She's doing all the wristbands right now. Numbering honestly helps. Um, I might get some sleep right now. I don't know. I'm really tired, low key. But what is that? That shoe's literally upside down. Do you guys see that too? Can that you looks stop? Like L1 I can't even write properly right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I messed up. <laughs> How do you mess up a smiley face? The eyes are too close. <laughs> Could you do the smiley face? You can't just leave it like that now. How am I gonna fix it? Just put a smiley face. I did. Like, Marissa, what is no? <laughs> just pretend. Okay, so, like, fill this in. Like, make it like a little thick. Like, <laughs> like, fill it in. Make it a thick dot. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I meant. Anyway, okay, that can be the mouth line. Just do like two eyes here. <laughs> I'm gonna show you how to do the Tyler smiley face. Ready? I know how to do the smiley face. You don't. Man. That's so bad. That's so much better. I'm gonna show you my real smiley face. <laughs> We're just gonna fill this person up with smiles. I'm gonna do a heart too. Oh my god, that was so bad. Guys, we need to go to bed. That's what we need to do. Current time, 12.57. I will see you whenever I see you. Jocelyn's gonna give you a story time of how today, yesterday, cause she went to night one, how the show went with like, the, like tell them about like the lineup, like what happened. Okay, so I camped, right? And I was like sleeping good and warm in my little tent. And then like 9 a.m. came around and they had us like move all of our stuff off the property. And we couldn't even have like chairs or blankets. It was like really annoying cause it was really cold. And they had us just like stand there. Um, and then, and then we were just stuck there. You just look like a ghost of crank okay, I want to tell him about my crate. So basically, we um we couldn't have like our own chairs or anything. <laughs> so um since we're in an alley, I found a crate in the alley, 
and um they let me sit on it because it was already there and so i sat on it for like three hours and then it got stolen when i went to go eat and then i came back um and then it reappeared and then i sat on it again and now it's gone so i don't know where it went but there's a crate somewhere oh my god <laughs> <laughs> hi um Ew, hold on, I look really bad right now. Don't put that in the video. Thanks. I'm putting it in. <laughs> Don't put that in, thanks. <laughs> I'm putting it in. All right, I'm like freezing, thanks. I have better handwriting than Sammy. Oh. And I'm number two in line. And he's number one, even though I should have been number one, I'm crying. Not really, I kind of paid a thousand dollars to be here, so. I actually live in Chicago, so. Okay, bye. Okay, thanks. <laughs> you. Everyone unfollow. Her, not me. Can't even see me. Mm -hmm. It's 3.40 a.m. Midnight for me, it's 3 a.m. See you. I thought Marissa got kidnapped because there was like a group of people around our tent, like surrounding us, like whispering. They keep asking if they should wake us up for wristbands. First of all, no thank you. I was already woke. So. But I was already awake, so then she woke me up. And she was like, I'm gonna go do the wristband since I'm already up. I was like, okay. Then I like tried to go to sleep, and then I was like, wait, like why is she taking so long? So I went out to see where she was, because she left her phone in here. And she wasn't there. And I was like, what the fuck? Guys, I think we got kidnapped. <laughs> I texted her sister if she's in the car, and her sister was like, oh, we took her to a restaurant to pee. Because I feel so bad. God. I couldn't sleep because I had to pee. It's and really cold. It is cold. Jocelyn is asleep, like. Like she's like knocked out. Like knocked out. Like I mean, we, we stepped she's in probably in just like tired. Yeah. I'm gonna talk your bathroom. It's like 9 in the morning. Not even 9, like 9.30 maybe? I don't know. Um, we got our actual wristbands. I'm number one. And they said we can leave. We just have to be back by 2. But we're not gonna leave for a long time. We're just leaving. Like, we're just swapping out and stuff. Now, I'm gonna get changed. And then I'm gonna get a croissant. And then we're gonna go back in line. But I did not sleep. I slept for like 4 hours, but there's a train. So I never really got to sleep fully because the train was loud as hell and it was cold it was cold and people were wearing wristbands people were talking it was too crazy there's literally nothing to update i literally just went to target again i'm exhausted now we're just sitting here and it's what time is it Marissa? 111 one, one. <gasps> angel numbers exactly we're gonna meet olivia but i'm like so exhausted four hours of sleep only got flowers for gracie or olivia i don't know who a lot of people got flowers for Olivia, so I wanted to get something for Gracie, but that's my update for now. I'm so over this. I literally said I wasn't going to camp ever again after Billy, but guess what? I'm doing it now, and I'll probably do it again. Look at my eyes. My under eye bags? Yeah. Bye. Olivia. Olivia. Hi. Oh my Bye. god. It's so nice to meet you. Bye. Olivia Rodrigo's meet to me. Bye. Oh, I didn't realize you were recording. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize. Olivia Rodrigo. Oh my god, I love you so much. Oh my god, I love you so much. Oh, I love you so much. Oh, my god, I love you so much. Oh, I love you so much. Oh, I love you so much. So now I'm just gonna give you a little story time on how I met Olivia because I've never actually like explained it. Throughout the day we were like praying, manifesting that we're gonna meet Olivia. I was like, oh my god, we're gonna meet Olivia, it's gonna be fine, we're gonna meet Olivia, it's gonna be fine, it's gonna be great, it's gonna be great. We were all like really excited and excited. But around like some certain time we saw on Twitter that fans met Olivia in Chicago and we saw like a bus behind it, a white van, and they were posted on Twitter that people already met her. So we were like, okay, she already came to the venue. So we went to her tour bus area and the security guy was like lying to us, being like, Yeah, she already came out, like there's no point in standing here. But we were like, okay, we're gonna stand here anyways. About like two or three hours passed by and she did not come out we were really scared that we were gonna somehow lose our spot so we we're like okay we're over it let's just she probably is already inside let's just go let's just go get ready for the show and just enjoy the show i was already ready i had my outfit because i got changed in the morning marissa and like our other friends weren't ready they went to go get ready and marissa was in target but one of my other twitter mutuals were standing there still being like i don't know i have a feeling she'll come out like if she does i don't know i'll text you or call you so marissa and a bunch of our friends just like went to target went to their cars to go get ready or whatever and i stood there with another girl we just stood there just to wait in line you know so no one takes our spots and anything and i get a call from my twitter mutual and he's like her security guard is literally standing on the street 
and there's vans pulling up, so I feel like she's gonna come. And I start freaking out. I was like, oh my god, where the fuck is Marissa? Because like I start calling everyone. I start calling Marissa. I spam her. I spam her. She's like, I'm literally in Target. Like I don't know what to do. Like, but I'm like, Marissa, come, like hurry up. I'm texting everyone. Come hurry up. I'm calling people. But like the service is first of all really bad, and second of all everywhere. Like people are everywhere. Like there's they're not all at the venue. So I'm like, fuck. Okay. So then I run over to where the tour bus was from the line. I sprint my ass there and fucking I met Olivia. Like what the fuck? I still can't believe it. And I got really lucky and I'm so grateful that I got to meet her. There was not, not that many people there. That's why she came out and said hi and took pictures because if it's a lot of people, she doesn't really do that and she hasn't been doing that that much this tour. But <laughs> I'm just so grateful and so happy and I'm real. I feel I still feel so bad for all of my friends. I didn't get to meet Olivia. One day, if you guys are watching this, you guys are going to meet Olivia. It's going to happen. It's just gonna happen. Everyone manifest in the comments. Let's watch because I can't. I can't even believe it. Olivia, I came from Canada. I came from Canada. Can I have a hug? How are you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I came from Canada just to see you. Really? I'm coming to Toronto as well, but I have a letter for you. I would love to meet. Oh I love you so Sammy. much. Sammy, let's take a photo. Look at your fit. Can we take a picture next to you? I don't have words right now. Um, I think I kill myself. I literally, guys. I did, we literally, because we were standing there we waiting for the Olivia, second. and then the two buses went out, they closed the gate, everyone went inside, she's like, okay, she's inside, like, she's, yeah. there's no way we she's coming back out. Up. We're like, there's no Marissa fucking literally way. fucking went to Target, so we were like, okay, there's no way she's going out. Then, someone texted me, they're like, come back, I think she's coming, so I text, and I'm like, okay, I don't think she's gonna actually come. Fucking bodyguard comes in, she comes out, Gracie comes out, and... She just comes out, she stops, she wasn't gonna stop, but then people were like, please stop. I literally can't read right now. I can't believe that happened. I can't believe that happened. How are you feeling right now? I, you I don't know. I, I, I know all the way. The they made us throw away our flowers. We have one. I'm ready. Marcia's in my jacket because she's cold. I'm freezing cold. I can't breathe already. It's been like two minutes. I didn't even show you my outfit. We're literally stuck. Hi. Hi. Guys, Marissa and I are finally at a Libby Do concert together. I know. We always talk about it every day. I'm crying so bad. It finally happened. I almost not didn't come. I know, that was crazy. Why is the stage so high? Like, look. But they're pretty, the venue's really pretty. Oh my god, I'm shaking.
this. The lights are out. Marissa, how are you feeling? I'm shaking so bad. I'm not ready. Gracie and I had so many attractions. I'm shaking so bad. And I, see, I got the set list. I'm crying so bad. You can't even see me right now. Like, you literally can't see anything. I'm most excited to do it. Greater. Yay. Are you excited? Yeah. I'm crying. Yeah. I'm shaking so bad. We're shaking. We're literally shaking. Oh my god. Oh my god.
stays forever. See how you would leave. She found someone more exciting in the second you were gone. Always say I'm never satisfied, but I don't think that's true. God, you got it out there. That's about the one who loves you. More you found someone more exciting the next second you Always one step forward and three steps back. I'm the love of your life until I take you back. It's always one step forward and three steps back. Uh, and <laughs> no, thank you, Lily Lou. We broke up a month ago. Your friends are my you know. <laughs> you moved on from someone new. One more girl who brings out the better. And it's all a lot of bullshit. You know you'll never be.
Last night was the best night of my life, like I'm being so serious, but the aftermath is not amazing. I've never felt so sick, like I'm not like sick, like I don't have the cold. I just feel nauseous and dizzy, but I think I'm good now. It's because in the morning, I didn't, I didn't eat last night when I got back, and then in the morning I just had like hotel breakfast, so it's like not like the best. Now I'm going to Outback, I'm just a little cold, so I'm getting my jacket from my room, but like our hotel had Outback in it, so I can just like, you know, go. I've never have it, had a bar because we don't have it in Canada. I'm excited. I don't know where I'm going. If you live in LA and you're always in the warm, I hate you. Like, honestly, I really do. It's so cold. I hate it. I will update you. I don't know if I want to continue this vlog or end it here. This is an Olivia vlog, not a Chicago vlog. But I might just continue it because who cares? Yeah? Bye. Bye. See you soon. Since it's either Easter, I mean, most things are closed, but we found a mall that's open. So we're out of the mall right now. Great. Currently hot in Hot Topic, and I don't know what I'm gonna get, but I wanna get something. <gasps> get Billy Marsh. Not them playing Olivia as if I'm not like dying of sadness because it's over anyway. Why would they hate me? Why do they hate me? Why do they wanna do that to me? Like, I'm so sad right now. God, I'm so little. I still fucking love you, baby. Hi. We're going downtown, things. And Alta Booty. Yeah, we're gonna see Ariana and Billy. And Billy. And not Ariana, just mid. Like mid Livia. <laughs> yeah, mid Livia. <laughs> and mid daily. <laughs> mid daily. My flight's at like 9 o'clock. I'm 9.45. I'm Don't be sick. Hey. Guys, we're at Alta and like one of. Ariana has like, she literally just released Rem Beauty to Alta and um, literally there's only like four or five locations, I don't really remember how many, but like not too many locations that has like the VR headset. Yeah, this location has it. So we just did the VR headset, I just did it and like Ariana's like there and then they could have drawn her product, so it was so cool. Guys, hi. We just met a fan. Ah. <laughs> it's Colin, it's oh Colin, 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 Colin,
Do you say hi? Oh my god, hi. Video oh, my... The vlog. oh my god, um, Sammy is a slay, Marissa is a slay, and they're my cookies forever. And subscribe to Cookie Sammy. <laughs> we just went to Olive Garden and ate, and it was so good. And then we went, where else did we go? That looks fucking crazy. We went to Target. What else did we do? We went to the record store, but we didn't find anything. Yeah, we went to. Do you think they had the Harry posters? They're, they're gone. They're gone. And she spilled. She spilled. <laughs> Coffee in the Uber. Yeah, on the, the door. Uber's car. On accident. We went to Alta Beauty Art to do that. Yeah. But now I'm leaving, and my hair looks crazy. No, don't leave me. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Oh, no. I just, my stomach hurts really bad from all the garden. Now I'm gonna go to Toronto. Yeah, next vlog. Where is it in Toronto? Well, not next vlog, but the vlog after that. Actually, no, like in a while. In a few vlogs. Summer vlog. Summer vlog. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I don't really know where to end a vlog because. But let's just see. Um, Yeah, it's like almost 8 o'clock basically. We just got through security. Now we're going home. Look, I'm in my shower to remember it's in my shower to her tote bag. Um, I'm really sad. I'm really mad right now, too, because there's, like, this cool, like, food court area, right? And there was this ice cream store, and we were about to wait in line. We were waiting in line at the ice cream, like, there was an ice cream booth, and there was a cash register, so we were like, okay, the lineup for that starts here. But no, apparently it started at the other store, just, like, this whole fucking market type thing. Guess what, when we get to the back of the line, this lady's like, mm, we're closed, sorry, that's why I'm standing here. They're the last person people in line. What the fuck? We were literally waiting in line, too. We were literally waiting in line. You just didn't give. You literally said line starts here. There was literally a sign said on the sign that was fine. And now you're not letting me fucking. You want ice cream? I want strawberry ice cream really bad. And I guess now I'm not getting my strawberry ice cream. Why are there a bunch of like fucking white men in shorts? Like it's fucking freezing outside. They're kind of hot. Anyways, yeah, so I'm really irritated because I really just want ice cream and I didn't even get ice cream and I wanted to, I wanted to get strawberry ice cream. Strawberry ice cream in Malibu. Don't act like we didn't see the shit too. I really wanted ice cream. I'm not hungry. I'm just thirsty. I want a snack. I also realized how nosy I am because the TSA, everyone at the security was like really young. They're like probably in their kind of 20s. And this one guy, like the one who was like patting me down for like security check or whatever. He's not patting me down, he was like going through the machine, you know, and checking that. He was talking about how he's like added some girl on Snapchat and asking his coworker for advice and stuff. And I really wanted to listen to the conversation because I was so nosy. And I'm like, my life is not that interesting, like dramatically, like with drama or like with guys or anything like that. So like, I want to listen in. I'm nosy. Yeah. Okay, I'll see if this is the end of the vlog. Bye. If it's not the end of the vlog, okay. See you in a sec, I guess. It's okay, guys, because I found a Starbucks, so I can get Starbucks instead of ice cream. I'm so excited. No. No. Okay, thank God. I thought it was closed. Oh, that guy's so hot. Oh my God, I'm tired of airport crushes. I always have them. <gasps> no, it is closed. I'm crying so hard right now. Anyways, what was I gonna say? Mm -hmm. I was talking about airport crushes. I hate that I always have airport crushes because I'm like always sad that I'll never see them ever again. One time, next time I go on a trip, my goal is to talk to an airport crush. Please remind me to do that. I just want to talk to them and be like, hi, where's your flight? Like, I don't know. I hope one day that like I get like my flight delayed or something so that I have to talk to them. Like if my flight gets delayed, then I can talk to them, you know, and it will give me a reason to talk to them. But I feel like if I don't have a delayed flight, they'll come really early next time so I can talk to them. So if I don't have a delayed flight, like why am I talking to you? But like, I do not. I feel like I should still talk to them, okay? Everyone remind me, comment down below. Say, Sammy, next time you want a trip, talk to an airport crush boy because you only live once. I didn't even tell you guys the story, but recently I've been putting myself out there. Mm -hmm. Actually, you know, that's such a lie. I only did it once. We were at the mall and I saw this cute boy and he was working. And I saw him before too, last time we went and me and Talia were like, being like, oh my God, he's so cute, whatever. So I saw him again and I was like, okay, this is a sign from God that I should just do it. So I wrote my number down on a piece of paper and I was like, for the boy, whatever and put it on his like desk and then walked away. And then he texted me and he said he was straight, of course. Very straight, no, he said he's very straight and he has a girlfriend. And then he asked me for my age and then I said 16 and then he goes to me. So I was really confused, but so maybe I should not put myself out there because when I do, it doesn't work out in my favor. So I'm actually not gonna do that next time I'm at an airport. I lied to myself by saying I was gonna do that, but I'm not gonna, you know what, maybe I will. If you guys comment down below and tell me I should, then I will, okay? Okay, thank you. Missing someone Missing someone